हेलो एवन इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग द टेबल ऑफ एन सी आर टी डिस्टिंगशिंग बिटवीन सी फोर प्लांट्स एंड सी थ्री प्लांट्स सो इन दिस टेबल वी हैव सेवेंटीन पॉइंट्स एंड विल डिस्कस ईच पॉइंट इन डिटेल लेट स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस टेबल आस्क अस इन विच सेल टाइप डज कैलविन साइकिल टेक प्लेस फ्रेंड्स कैलविन साइकिल टेक प्लेस इन ईच एंड एवरी प्लांट बी इट सी थ्री प्लांट सी फोर प्लांट और कैम प्लांट्स everywhere cam everywhere kelvin cycle will occur just because kelvin cycle leads to the formation of glucose and glucose is a source of food for everyone on this planet earth and if we say plant prepare food they prepare this glucose just because of kelvin cycle and kelvin cycle has three steps carboxylation reduction and regeneration this carboxylation step the first step requires an enzyme called as rubisco so wherever we have this enzyme rubisco there this kelvin cycle will take place in c3 plants rubisco enzyme is present in mesophyll cells therefore kelvin cycle occur in mesophyll cell for c3 plants but in c4 plants rubisco enzyme is present in special cells which are called as bundle sheath cells these cells are special because of three important points first of all they have large number of chloroplast second their walls are thick and they do not allow gases to pass through it and the third one is they have very little intercellular spaces because these are compactly packed around the vascular bundle of leaf now coming to the second point second point is asking the cell type in which initial carboxylation reaction takes place what do we mean by initial carboxylation so we know friends that carbon dioxide fuses with the primary carbon dioxide acceptor and forms a product this product is called as primary carbon dioxide fixation product so this is the primary carboxylation reaction occurring so in in c3 plants this primary acceptor of carbon dioxide is a 5 carbon containing keto sugar which is called as ribulose bisphosphate and the reaction takes place in mesophyll cells now let's talk about c4 plants c4 plants have a another carbon dioxide acceptor molecule which is called as phosphoenol pyruvate and this first carboxylation reaction or say carbon dioxide fixation reaction takes place in mesophyll cells only of c4 plants and we know that in c4 plants this whole carbon dioxide fixation and then ultimately kelvin cycle takes place and this whole cycle where the initial carboxylation reactions are occurring is called as hatch and slack pathway and i have made a video over this pathway you can see that video also now coming to the third point how many cell types does the leaf have to fix carbon dioxide in c3 plants we have only one type of cells and that these are mesophyll cells so we have only one type of cell in c3 plants but in c4 plants we have two type of cells one is the mesophyll cell and the other one is bundle sheath cells so in first that is mesophyll cell the initial carbon dioxide fixation or say the primary carbon dioxide fixation product is formed and in bundle sheath cells we have rubisco enzyme and there occurs the king of photosynthesis that is kelvin cycle now let's talk about fourth point what they are asking which is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor in c3 plants in c3 plants i told you it is a 5 carbon containing keto sugar that is named as rubp that means ribulose bisphosphate and in c4 plants we have a 3 carbon containing compound which is called as pep phosphoenol pyruvate which is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor now the fifth question is the number of carbons in this acceptor primary carbon dioxide acceptor so ribulose bisphosphate contains 5 carbon and phosphoenol pyruvate contains 3 carbon next question is which is the primary carbon dioxide fixation product in c3 and friends this is the main reason we have two types of plants c3 plants and c4 plants because we have named them c3 and c4 on the basis of primary carbon dioxide fixation product formed in c3 it is all it is a 3 carbon containing compound called as phosphoglyceric acid 3pga and in c4 plants it is a 4 carbon containing 
acid that is oxaloacetic acid so we, they are asking which is the primary carbon dioxide fixation product in c3 plants we can say that it is 3 phosphoglyceric acid pga and in c4 plants it is a four carbon containing acid which is oaa oxaloacetic acid now the next question is the number of carbons in the primary carbon dioxide fixation product so the number of carbons are similar to the names of the plant c3 that means three carbon containing is the first carbon dioxide fixation product and in c4 plants it is a four carbon containing acid which is oxaloacetic acid now the next question eighth question is does the plant have rubisco rubisco will be pre present everywhere where kelvin cycle takes place and kelvin cycle occur in all the plants therefore rubisco is present in all these plants be it c3 c4 or camp plants this is present in the largest quantity in the whole biosphere over earth this is the question from biomolecules chapter and the most abundant protein of animal world is collagen so does the plant have rubisco of course yes why because kelvin cycle is occurring in c3 and c4 plants does the plant have pepcase first of all let me tell you what is this enzyme pepcase doing pepcase is involved in the primary carbon dioxide fixation reaction in c4 plants where carbon dioxide fuses with a three carbon containing phosphoenol pyruvate in the presence of this enzyme pepcase and it leads to formation of a four carbon containing acid whose name is oxaloacetic acid so pepcase must be present in c4 plants we know that okay we put a tick over here that pepcase is present in c4 plants but friends pepcase is also present in c3 plants and this makes this question unique the role of pepcase in c3 plants is not yet defined but yes it is present in both type of plants similar to that of rubisco now the 10th question from us they are asking that which cell in this in the plant have rubisco so we have already discussed rubisco this question is similar to the first question which they were asking in which cell type kelvin cycle occur kelvin cycle will occur where rubisco is present so the answer is mesophyll cell for c3 plants and bundle sheath cells for c4 plants 11th question is carbon dioxide fixation rate under high light condition friends we know that c4 plants are adapted for tropical areas and inside tropical areas we have high temperature high sunlight exposure therefore the carbon dioxide fixation rate under high light conditions would be more in c4 plants but c3 plants will have moderate amount of carbon dioxide fixation in high light conditions the 12th question they are asking whether photorespiration is present at low light conditions so let me brief you that 12 13 14 and then 15 all these questions are of photorespiration and we have already discussed that photorespiration is a wasteful process because neither the glucose is formed atp is used in spite of being formed and carbon dioxide is released instead of oxygen so because of these three conditions we say that photorespiration is a wasteful process and why this reaction of photorespiration does not take place in bundle sheath cells of c4 plants because in bundle sheath cells we have carbon dioxide being evolved from the decarboxylation reactions of malic acid and aspartic acid which we have discussed in hachen slack pathway so because of high carbon dioxide concentration in the bundle sheath cells the rubisco enzyme functions as carboxylase only and therefore photorespiration will not occur photorespiration occur when rubisco enzyme functions as oxygenase enzyme so we we'll, we will say that for c4 plants there is no photorespiration process occurring so now let's answer this question for c3 plants whether photorespiration is present at low light intensities yes it is present at low light intensities in the low amount now the next question is whether photorespiration is present at high light intensities yes it will be high in high light conditions 
whether photorespiration would be present at low carbon dioxide concentration. Low carbon dioxide concentration means an invitation for Rubisco enzyme to functions as, function as oxygenase enzyme. Therefore, again, photorespiration would be high in low carbon dioxide concentration. Now, coming to the 15th question, which says whether photorespiration would be present at high carbon dioxide concentration. We know that at high carbon dioxide concentration, Rubisco enzyme will function as carboxylase enzyme. But some part somewhere in C3 plants, the Rubisco enzyme would function as oxygenase and photorespiration will occur, but in low quantities, of course. So photorespiration would be at highest quantity in C3 plants when we have high light conditions and when we have low carbon dioxide con conditions. Now coming to the 16th question, what is the temperature optimum for C3 plant and C4 plant? C3 plant belong to temperate regions. Therefore, their temperature would be from 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. But C4 plants are adapted for tropical areas. Therefore, their temperature optimum ranges from 30 to 40 degrees Celsius, which is higher in comparison to C3 plants. Now, the last question of this table is the examples of C3 and C4 plants. The first example of C3 plant is tomato. The second, ex second example of C3 plant is bell pepper. Now coming to the examples of C4 plants, we have already discussed them. First is maize and the second one is sorghum. So with this friends, we have discussed the complete table distinguishing C3 plants from C4 plants. I hope this video was useful to you for more such relevant con content you can check my YouTube channel and I have also uploaded my notes of these videos on my telegram channel do visit that channel also thank you for watching this video till the end